lithium prices have skyrocketed in recent years, triggering a global scramble for battery materials and exposing the fragility of the EV supply chain. And now, that crisis might have finally met its match. I think so. I think that's going to be a massive, massive product. Elon Musk is betting big on a breakthrough low-cost technology that scientists have quietly studied for years, sodium ion batteries. But the big questions are, how could sodium ion batteries be the key to making the upcoming Model 2 the best EV deal ever, starting under $25,000? That's exactly what we're breaking down in today's video. And if you haven't seen our last video, Go check it out for a deeper dive into the science behind this game-changing battery tech. Here at Garatech, we go beyond the headlines with sharp analysis and real data. No hype, no clickbait. So hit subscribe, tap the bell, and become one of the first 399 insiders who stay ahead of the curve. Let's start with the biggest game-changer here, cost. Right now, the EV world runs on lithium. But lithium isn't cheap. In fact, during the 2023 price surge, lithium carbonate hit nearly $80,000 per metric ton. That's not just expensive, it's unstable. Prices swung wildly over the past few years, and that unpredictability hits automakers and buyers hard. Now compare that to sodium. Sodium carbonate, the base material for sodium ion batteries, costs just $300 to $400 per ton. That's not a typo. We're talking up to 200 times cheaper than lithium, and that price has remained relatively stable. Why? Because sodium is abundant. It's literally in table salt, seawater, and Earth's crust. We don't need to mine it in politically unstable regions or fight over limited supplies. It's everywhere. Now here's where things get interesting battery cost per kilowatt hour. The current standard for affordable EVs is the LFP battery, lithium iron phosphate. These cost about $70 to $100 per kilowatt hour. But with Gen 5.1 sodium ion tech, those costs could drop to just $40 to $50 per kilowatt hour. That's a 30 to 50% cut in raw battery cost. And if you're looking at a compact EV with a 50 kilowatt hour battery, switching to sodium ion could shave $1,500 to $2,500 off the final sticker price. How much would saving $2,000 on your next EV matter to you? Yes or no? Let us know in the comment. Now let's talk about how Tesla plans to actually use it because this tech isn't just staying in the lab. First up, the long-anticipated Tesla Model 2, a compact EV expected to launch under $25,000. To hit that price point without compromising safety or reliability, Tesla needs a radically cheaper battery, and sodium ion fits the bill. With faster cold weather charging, thermal safety, and low material costs, Gen 5.1 is the perfect match for entry-level EVs designed for everyday drivers. Then there's the robo-taxi fleet, Tesla's upcoming autonomous rideshare platform. These vehicles won't need 400-mile range or top-tier acceleration. What they need is reliability, fast turnaround charging, and affordability for mass deployment. That's where sodium ion wins again. Gen 5.1 cells can charge up to 80% in just 15 minutes for smaller less than 50 kilowatt hour packs, ideal for short urban routes with high vehicle rotation. But Tesla isn't stopping at cars. Tesla's home energy storage system is expected to get a more affordable version powered by sodium ion. Its longer cycle life, non-toxic chemistry, and resistance to extreme temperatures make it a smart solution for disaster-prone zones, off-grid regions, and developing nations where dependable energy matters more than high density. So do you think this is truly the end of lithium? Drop your thoughts in the comments. We read everyone. And if you're hungry for more real tech insights without the fluff, smash that subscribe button, tap the bell. See you soon.